Hi, welcome to Sorta OK Reviews, where every fandom is welcome. I'm Nathan Bedard. I'm Brad Newton. And today, we're doing something a little different. Today we experienced something called 4DX... Yeah, a 4DX movie, uh, essentially. So it's like... It's it's very like they, they build it as like interactive. It's like the next step from 3D movies. So essentially, if you've ever been on the ride at like uh, Universal, if you've ever been on Trek 4D, or if you've been on like Honey I Shrunk the Kids, or like Despicable Me, it's kind of like that where like you, you go, your seats move, they shoot air, they shoot water at you. It's like that, but for like a, a feature length film. Yep, we I remember we go, we go to uh, one of our big theaters in Orlando sometimes to see the bigger movies and. We always go see IMAX. That's one of our favorite things. Mm. But we noticed one time, I think it was for Spider-Man, we saw this thing called 4DX, and we were like, oh, I wonder what that is. And yeah. we kind of like read some quick things like motion, the blah, blah, blah. Mm. And we finally were like, we like finally got around to it. Like, you know what? I forgot the place had it. Like, yeah. we should go check it out one time. And we also wanted to make sure that we, we saw the right movie with it. We, of course, decided to go see Solo, which we just did a review on. Go check that out. Mm-hmm. So let's just go break down like uh, all of these features that 4DX says and what we thought of them. So it pretty much it's, it says it features like seats that move in uh, three dimensions, which I thought was probably one of the strongest things. Because as we said, we saw Solo. So for all the the flying scenes in the Falcon, like we like would move forward with the Falcon and move back and do this. It like, really it's felt like a ride. Yeah, it really felt like that ride at Disney. Mm -hmm. Like we're in the Falcon, which was cool. I thought that was a big strength of the movie. And then, like, they had vibration vibrations in it. So, like, you know, when we went to hyperspace in the movie, we'd vi vibrate. The motion, by the way, just a heads up, something I learned from going in. Um, if you have, like, a regular soda or something that has a lid, you're mm -hmm. pretty, you'll are pretty, you be pretty much fine. Um, there is some pretty good motion, though, in it, where I feel like if, if your theater provides it, like, they, if they have open bar and you bring mm -hmm. in mixed drinks, you might not want to do that because, honestly, I saw yeah, people... I saw people that had theirs pretty still full, and, I mean, that thing will just shoot up, and it could spill all over you. Yeah. So then the next thing they say is it has, like, uh, leg and back ticklers. Like, to me, that just kind of means, like, the air, the little air pumps at the, uh, yeah. the the bottom, and, like, there's this thing where, you, like, if someone gets hurt or there's, like, a fight scene, like, there's, like, a thing that jabs you in the back, mm -hmm. which I kind of didn't literally like that aspect, like, especially in the beginning of the trailers. And then, as we mentioned, when there's like uh, there's like fans like above you, whenever like, there's like in the air, there's a wind scene like yeah. blowing around you, which gets, does or get kind of cold. But... Like if you're on a beach or somewhere where there's wind, yeah, just they they definitely put, and it does get cold. Like there was some yeah. moments where I was like, yeah, it's like we this stop? has been on for a little bit, yeah. Like they have jackets in the movies, we know. <laughs> yeah, so we get that, and then uh, water shoots out at you, which I didn't even really think we'd get a lot of water in this movie, but we did. It we happened about, a few times. Well, we had about three times where the water shot us, and it's nothing anything too crazy. It did catch me off guard one point where I was like, oh, oh no. I mean, yeah, it was. it's like maybe a drop or two. It's more like a mist that they spray. Yeah. But if it really bothers you, they have a button right on the seat where you oh, can yeah. stay water off. They do have that option, yeah. Cause so you, could if you be don't want to get food. wet at all, you just turn the water off, which I, which was a good call, I think. And then they sat, had fog. It says they have fog, which I think happened in one scene for us. And then uh, bubbles, we didn't see any bubbles, so we can't attest to that. Rain, again, it, there was one scene where it rained, and then it sprinkled down on us a little bit. I only felt a little bit. It's not like it's pouring down on you in the theater. Yeah. It's just like, maybe a drop or two. And then snow in the air, which we kind of saw ash. We kind of saw that in a battle scene. And then uh, storm and lightning effects. That was what you wanted to talk about, those strobe lights, those storm effects. That was my only dislike. I felt like while... I think they were just a little too strong. Like, they lit up the room, and, like, that's one it's thing. It's kind of like a big light flashing. Yeah, and it kind of shadows the movie a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, it, like, so that's one thing that kind of immerses you in the experience mm -hmm. is the, the darkness. Yeah. And it kind of brightens it up. I feel like it could either be, like, light, like, they should light it, like, yeah. lighter, or or make it like below or so I don't know like maybe a flash brighter. under your seat or something. I don't know. Uh, or they could just get rid of it yeah. altogether. I don't think that's just something they don't need because I really feel like too even people that don't have problems with with uh, strobe lights, mm -hmm. they kind of it irritated me a little bit. That was my only downside though. All right. So uh, overall impressions of 4DX, yay or nay? Uh, yay. I was spectacle at first because when we saw it, uh, it. Did not it did not link up with the trailers that well. Mm -hmm. So talking about at the beginning. Yeah, we were just kind of getting thrown around for no reason. But once the movie starts, 
Yeah. It links it, up perfectly with the movie. Yeah, at first I was like, oh, like, because in the trailers for movies, like, nothing was happening. They were just sitting there talking. And then the the things were just moving us like crazy. I'm like, what? Why are we moving right now? They would li- they would seriously be having a Regal commercial where they're just getting a coke, and we'd be like, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, lightning! Yeah. <laughs> All so that it didn't stuff. it didn't fit there. So I was like, is this gonna be two hours of this? But like once the movie started, it like starts to fit. And then like it gets to the point where you notice it, but you're more immersed in the movie than you're focused yeah. on. And like I said, we saw this with Solo. So the scenes when we're fl- when they're flying mm-hmm. and. It really, it's 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 really magical. It's fun. It's definitely something. Also, I could say, even if you don't like it at the end, yeah, you gotta try it. Like it's something worth trying once. Yeah, to me, well, unless you get like sick on those types of rides, yeah, at, like Universal, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. But I would say, like, it's it's a very like novelty concept. This wouldn't work with every movie. You gotta pick and choose the movies that you you'd want to see it in. And this, I don't think it's gonna be something we do often but no. i could see us doing it you know once in a while we'll be like oh, yeah we haven't seen a 4dx movie in a while let's do it yeah it's but something I, interesting it's, it's not imax but it's something different it's good to have options though like you know going to the movies you know you have your typical movie but it would be nice to like oh i can have the beautiful screen of imax it's like oh well i kind of want to try something interesting i want to do 4dx like and i feel like it's worth the 4dx like it's not just like a revamp of sound or mm-hmm. you no know, it's it, you, uh, for the t- tickets are more expensive too. Yes, they are. They run about at our theater. It ran about twenty five dollars per mm-hmm. ticket, um, but I mean, considering IMAX most of the time are about twenty bucks. Yeah, that's really not too bad. Cons- and especially considering, I mean, it definitely wasn't weak. It was. Mm-hmm. It was immersive. It was yeah. pretty fun. So I would say, if if that sounds appeasing to you, go ahead and try it. Uh, if you like those types of rides at Universal, or if you've never been on those types of rides and you're curious what it's about, go do it. Uh, but yeah, that's that would be my like. Just go try it once. It's it's probably worth yeah. it. And remember, if you do decide to get drinks or food, make sure your drink does have a lid, and make sure your food either you, you hold on to when you're <laughs> eating and it doesn't, or it's not really that messy because mm-hmm. it will, th- it could throw yeah. it. It really could. Yeah, it's a bit more violent than you'd think. But I think that's going to do it for our review of our 4DX experience. Yep, uh, we, we both enjoyed it. I think we definitely will go back again. Mm-hmm. But we thought we would give our little our little two speed, cents. Yeah, yeah, a little two cents about it and uh, talk about it here. So we saw it for Solo, which is a phenomenal movie. But that's going to do it for us today. Yep, and as always, you can hit that subscribe button over there and there will be another review up here for you to check out. Yep, we hope you found this video helpful and we hope you have a very good day. Thank you very much.